okay. <laughs> Icons over time come to reflect a certain time period. This is especially true for video games and media. While we could look at The Sims artwork and actual icons used for the base games and DLC, I wanted to do something else. I wanted to take a look at iconic items within each game. Before we get into this, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you. The Sims has many obvious icons. The whole game is pretty iconic. Of course, it's featured iconic Sims like Bella Goth and the rest of the Goth family. The newbies, the crumple bottoms, and the pleasants. You'll actually see many of these families throughout the entire franchise in different stages of their lives or with different family members and different looks. The Sims also introduced many iconic items that would become closely associated with the game. One of the first things that come to mind for me would be the heart-shaped bed. The vibromatic heart bed was introduced in Sims Living Large. This gave the player an opportunity to play in bed. You do so by turning the bed on and sending a Sim to lie down in the vibrating bed. You'd send their partner in and they played and as that happened, their fun and social need would actually be filled. The question of should we have a baby might appear. If you selected yes, a baby would spawn in. It's good to keep in mind that you'd be charged 20 simoleons if you turn the vibrate feature on. Obviously, this bed has become pretty iconic, not only for its gameplay, but for its looks. It really was out there, especially compared to the rest of the bed options, but in the best way possible. Classic. Pool ladders in The Sims have become a dynamic duo, sort of like PB and J. Sandwiches. Joking about killing sims by removing the pool letter has become such a mainstream thing that now you'll come across a joke like this on social media and immediately be able to recognize the fact that this person hasn't played Sims 4. Since, you yeah, know, that's not how it works anymore. Either way, this is a classic death in the Sims franchise, despite not being able to do this in Sims 4. Who could forget about the adult entertainers who would pop out the cake? I couldn't. There are obviously lots of iconic items from Sims 1, like all of these. This plastic chair, the fish tank for some reason, for me, Bonehilda, clown thing, the ride thing, there's a lot. On to Sims 2. Sims 1 and Sims 2 personally feel like the games that have the most recognizable objects. Once again, things like pool ladders, fish tanks, and Bella Goth were very present in the game. Although Bella wasn't really in the game, but she was there. We felt her presence. They did add some other things in Sims 2 that became pretty iconic, like this exercise machine. As a child, I was obsessed with this. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Then again, I used to spin in the office chair until I got so dizzy I couldn't walk. Nowadays, I would not be able to do that and most definitely wouldn't be able to use this machine at all. This was a staple in all of the home gyms. Sometimes it would even be the centerpiece of the living room for me. Almost always, I included it in any public lot just for the heck of it. This love tub was the height of romance in my mind, and I thought it was simply the best. Too adorable. The candles, the flowers, and the red hot tub. It was perfection. I don't think I even knew that the chances of getting pregnant increased if the candles were on. So that's the fun fact of the day. Honestly, anything to do with aliens in this game was chef's kiss. The aliens themselves, the alien babies, the alien themed baby stuff, the UFOs being featured in various objects, all of it was a good old fun time. In my opinion. I couldn't forget about the cow plant. I accidentally killed way too many sims using this. Sometimes I would forget to put them into a locked room or a fenced in area and it felt like a lineup of guests would form so they could all be eaten by the cow plant. It got a bit ridiculous. This classic item added a bit of chaos while providing a fantastic service. The life-extending drink you could milk from it was very helpful if you grew a little too attached to your current sim and wanted them to live longer. And yep, yeah, that was all of my sims essentially. They all drank this. I wonder what it tastes like in real life. Another reward item that I absolutely adored would be the money tree. Let me tell you, hearing this, was always a good time. I honestly wish that I could have this in real life. Who doesn't want this in real life? In game, you need to make sure you water the plant periodically so that it wouldn't die. 
That way you'll be able to harvest simoleons from it every five to eight hours. You'll know when it's ready when it does the sound and when it's glowing. Be careful with these. Your guests or anyone in your house could just walk right up to it and harvest the money. I like to put them into a locked room or fenced in area to prevent that. Last but not least, the photo booth. I will never not think about this photo booth when I think about Sims 2. Now, this might just be me, but I always hated the cutscenes for woohooing for the first time. I was a kid and not only did it make me slightly uncomfy, but I was worried my parents would walk in on me playing and of course that would be up on the screen. I'm sure that happened a few times. I'm sorry, mom. Also, my game would freeze and crash during cutscenes and that's why I had to find workarounds. My Sims would only ever propose to each other at the table, they would elope and never marry, and my sims would only ever woohoo for the first time in the photo booth or in the car. The photo booth was the least awkward one for the woohooing to take place in. Therefore, I always, 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 always had a photo booth on my active lot. Some special shoutouts include the medical surgery practice table thing, carpeted grand and spiral staircases, and this phone right here, which I talked about in another video. If you want to see that video, please click the link at the top of the screen right now. If you've been watching my videos for a long time, you'd know that I didn't really have access to Sims 3 back when it was new. If there's anything from 3 that you find super iconic, please let me know what it is down below. I would love to know about them. Anywho, from my perspective, all of these outdoor playthings are brilliant. The treehouse, the slide, the sandpit, and the spring rocker are super duper cool and 100% should have been included in Sims 4. They're sick! And I can only imagine creating a park with it and damn, that would be a good park. Okay, I didn't know this one existed, but a flipping ice cream truck? Are you kidding me? Ugh, I want, I need it. I need it in The Sims 4. Lastly, Imaginary Friends has always intrigued me. I love the idea of it, yet somehow it's also really pretty creepy. When I was a kid, I would place my dolls and stuff like that face down underneath my bed or in my closet in case I woke up. Ooh. Yeah, I uh, I still need to talk to my therapist about what Toy Story did to me. It really scared me. I never liked the idea of my toys coming to life. Somehow, despite all of that, in Sims 3, this idea seems kind of cool. I like how they can actually become playable Sims, and they look kind of like rag dolls, but in a creepy way. I guess rag dolls are creepy as well though, so I don't know what I'm saying. The Sims 4 is the current Sims game, as many of you know. Actually, all of you should know that by now. And I think the most iconic thing from Sims 4 that every Simmer can agree is the most iconic thing would be babies being objects. Okay, that's it. Bye bye. Bye bye now. Bye bye. Just kidding. There are other things from Sims 4 that are iconic. Let's talk about that. These bushes, iconic. Who would have thought that a bush that your Sim can poop, sleep, and woohoo in would be an instant hit, but here we are. My Sims love it. Uh, actually, they don't mind it, I guess. There has never been any complaints. I don't know. And I love it because it just works for particular lots and builds. And for rigs to riches, we can't forget about that. Talking about toilets, what about the talking toilets from City Living? Should we have gotten elevators instead of talking toilets? Probably. Are the toilets actually fun to interact with? Uh, not really. Are they iconic to the game? In my opinion, yes. Another item that I don't often use and can never find a spot to use them would be the pod beds that came from Get Famous. Don't get me wrong, they're neat looking, but there's only a certain time and place for them. However, it is something that's sort of unusual that stands out from the other items. They're unique and they're certainly a talking point. So, do you love these? Do you hate them? Let me know. You know I couldn't do this video without mentioning the infamous ball pit. This ball pit is not only horrendous, but when it was first released, it was a flat texture. EA is a billion dollar company, yet they have games that come out with DLC with items looking like this. After the backlash, they did end up adding a bit of dimension to it. Nonetheless, this image will be living in my head rent free whenever I think about Sims 4 DLC quality. Was there something iconic that I missed? 
Let me know all about the iconic items from The Sims franchise. I would love to know what stands out to everyone else. If you're still here, thank you for picking this video out of all of The Sims videos that are on YouTube. I appreciate you. I hope you're doing fantastic and you're staying positive. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye!